guys, what's up? It is Kat, and I'm going to be talking about today why I started booktubing and where I want my booktubing channel to go and where I want book blogging to go. So, if you guys haven't seen my book newbie tag, go check that out. That one kind of explains why I started booktubing. It doesn't explain the full reason why I started booktubing. I feel more comfortable in front of a camera and telling you guys things where I can explain to you why I started booktubing. Obviously I started booktubing, one of the big reasons is because I love books so much. I love to read, I've always loved reading, it's always been something that I enjoy doing. There is a reason why I started booktubing and there are actually quite a few reasons. So hopefully you guys will stick around to hear my reasons. So back in 2014, 2013, my life wasn't really... It was good, but things weren't going very well. I started having very big issues. I started getting severe anxiety. Back in 2014, I was dealing with depression and PTSD, and I just didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to deal with things as well as I should have, and it just felt like my life was tumbling out of control, and booktubing has helped me in so many ways and that's definitely helped my comfortability level as well and my anxiety issues because I'm not as scared as getting in front of a camera anymore. I'm not as scared as doing things that I wouldn't do anymore like I used to. I was so scared to do things and now I'm not. I'm ready to take on things and I'm so glad I started booktubing. Booktubing gave me an escape. That's what it gave me. My Life wasn't going the greatest, and I needed an escape from that, and books were always my escape, and then finding booktubing and book blogging, that helped my escape as well. And that created just this love, not only for people that watch my videos, but this love, deep love for books that I knew existed, but I didn't feel until I started booktubing. Another big reason, I guess, I don't really know if it was really a big reason, but booktubing definitely gave me that out of light, like that away from reality part because I am, I deal with a lot of eating issues and so <laughs> when I needed guidance and everything and I needed a, guy, a lot of, I just needed to know that I'm not crazy and I'm not strange or different or stupid. I, books, it's my escape from reality and when I'm severely having severe anxiety attacks, this is where I go. My room, I go to my bookshelves, I do videos for you guys. That's what I do. That's how I cope with it. And it amazes me how many of you guys watch my videos because I never really thought that anybody would watch my videos. I thought that I was just one of those regular booktubers and it, it, it amazes me that you guys actually too watch my videos and you have no idea how thankful I am that I wake up every morning with some new comments and some people tweet to me like such great things and that honestly is like the greatest thing in the world for me to wake up to and I can never thank you guys enough for doing that for me. So um, to the non-sentimental squishy mushy stuff, where do I want my book channel to go? I've noticed I do a lot of watching numbers. If you are a booktuber or a YouTuber, you kind of notice yourself watching numbers. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm happy where I am. 300 subscribers. I didn't even think I was going to get one. I didn't even think I was going to get 100. But I got 300 of you watching me. And that is amazing to me. I know I'm not going to be a popular booktuber. I know it. I've accepted it. I want to start being more hyper. I'm always hyper, but I want to start acting more like myself and I don't and I know I sometimes feel like I sound scripted. And I don't want to sound like that anymore. I hate feeling scripted. I feel I don't like reading things. Like when it comes to book reviews, it's a little harder because I don't always remember what to say and what I want to say, so I usually write down little notes just of what I want to say. I really want to stop with the scripts and go off an adventure and I want to do unique videos and it's hard to do, I'm like always scared to do videos that no one's gonna like because that scares me. Like this video right now, I'm, it makes me nervous to put it up just because it is off the beaten path. And I, even though I love, love, love books, I also kind of want to do a few vlogs. I want to sh show everyone like my oh so fun life because 
I mean, I don't have the most interesting life, but I want to show you guys some of my videos from traveling, because I do do quite a bit, bit of traveling. I am so happy with how far I came. I'm four, I'm celebrating almost four or five months with booktubing, and I don't know what's going on, a half a year with it, and that, to me, is the most exciting thing to me, because I didn't think I'd do it. I didn't think I'd stick to it, because I was afraid that I was going to fail. You have no idea how happy you make me for watching my videos, because... That is honestly the greatest thing, and that's what keeps me going, and that's what keeps these videos going. But I want to do unique book reviews. I don't want to do the same thing every single time. So I want to change something with that. I do want to comment more. I feel like sometimes I'm not always commenting, but also I want to find you guys outside of BookTube, or outside of YouTube. By even, I want to find you guys like by Twitter and Instagram and things like that. I want to get to know my friends more. But that's really, I guess, where I want my booktube channel to go. I know that might be a little hard, but I'm always up for the challenge. I got in front of a camera denied. That was the biggest challenge for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to know why some of you started booktubing. Was it because you love books or was it other things? I want to know. You can email me, you can send me messages, you can do whatever. I love hearing your guys' stories just as much as you probably like hearing my stories. And I want to meet you guys. I, I want to meet you not just from YouTube, but I want to meet you through Twitter and Instagram. I want to talk to you guys. That's how I want to be. I don't want to not talk to you. So leave your Twitter account down below. Leave your Instagram account down below so I can talk to you guys as well. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below with whatever you want to say because I like hearing your guys' comments. And also remember to subscribe, guys, to watch some of my more videos or my previous videos. Also, I'm going to be doing a question and answer video in about a month, and so leave your questions for me. Um, tweet it to me or Instagram it to me or email it to me. I will leave the link for the video at the end of this video. So I will see you guys at my next video. Bye!